Hi guys, we have so many LLM providers such as Claude, Gemini, Olama, Grok, OpenAI and in order to test each of these out we need to go to their website or go to the link code up and use that. Wouldn't it be great if we had a single app on your desktop or on the browser and using that you can use all of these models for example the OpenAI here Claude Gemini your local LLMs Olama Grok using API and chat GLM so in this video we are going to look at chatbox ai.app you can use it on the browser itself or you can use it on your Windows or Mac device you can just download this you can use it on your Linux system as well you can also download as a mobile app or use it in a browser so we are going to see and use it on all of these systems I'm going to specifically show you for the Windows uh, for the mobile using Google Play and in the browser also so what do we have here we have a wrapper of the LLMs from different service providers and with the use of this beautiful app you can use the LLMs and different capabilities of the LLMs using a no code interface so what do we have here if we go and first download this for windows let me just install this first so we have this we install this and now it's ready chatbox has been installed on your computer just take this run chatbot and click on finish this is going to start up the chatbox here and you can use it on the browser as well but let me show you on the desktop app so let's click on start setup and let's click on cancel here so this is the interface this is where we can just chat you can put in images as well you can select a particular file uh, to ask questions uh, for the rag interface we have different models we can go to the settings here and you can see the list of different models here for example let me uh, put grok api key here so i select grok here and then i need to put the api keys of grok so how do you get that we go to grok api click on grok api reference go to console.grok.com please visit here to get an api key create an api key here and put in some name here create an api key copy this and put it in the api key section now grok has these models i'm going to use a uh, llama 370 billion and you can just say save uh, these are the maximum messages in context as in history and this is the temperature which can control the creativity level or the meticulous level uh, of the LLMs so we click on save so we click on new chat now in this chat we have a grok into service so if I ask any question uh, let's say write me a poem on AI you can see the speed and inference is dependent on the models that we're using which is grok in this case so as you know grok um, is a very fast model and uh, you can see the output here now let's work with a different model for example instead of grok uh, now I want to use let's say Google Gemini so in this case we can select this let's say 1.5 pro latest and I need to put in the API key so I click here to get the API key and then we can click on get API keys we can create a new API key click on any project here create API key and copy this API key and put it here and click on save so now when you do new chat this is Gemini working here so tell me a joke So this is the model, uh, the Gemini model 1.5 Pro latest. So we can use the local Olama as well. So when we use Olama, we have this local host and we can click on save here. Of course, we need to select a model. 
I have these models installed on my local system. Let's work with Phi 3 and click on save. In order to install Olama in your local system, we can go to olama.com and then we click on download. Just install the uh, just download the installer and run the installer and you would be able to install Olama on your local system. So if you go to CMD and go to Olama, then you can see that we have uh, the Olama setup running here. And if you go to start and say Olama and just run this or you can do Olama serve. So this is going to start up Olama. On the taskbar you would be able to see this icon which uh, shows that olama is running now once olama is running we can download different models uh, i have already downloaded a few models uh, which you can see by typing olama list and you can see these models in order to pull any models we can go to this model and in the model we can just say olama pull and the name of the model so this will download the models on your local system anyways we have uh, the models here so we go to settings and in the model provider we can see that if we select olama we have this localhost uh, 127001 11434 port and we have these models i've selected fight 3 latest and then i click on save now when we start a new chat we can write this what is the capital of india okay uh, you can see that it is using olama 53 latest and you can see the answer so it is able to run olama as well now we can generate new images as well now in order to generate images uh, we need to select that particular model which can generate images so for that we need to select lava sort of a model or you can go to openai API you can use OpenAI API this would be able to generate images as well now in the settings section you can go to display so we have this font size English and then you go to chat this is the default prompt for the assistant you are a helpful assistant you can help me by answering my questions you can also ask me questions then you can go to advanced and you can see a different settings that you can have access to for example data backup and data uh, restore next we can go to my copilots so here are different copilots that we can use for example we can go to this copilot uh, let's say the prompt generator copilot now this is the system prompt for this prompt generator copilot so the system prompt is i want you to act as a prompt generator first i will give you a title like act as an english pronunciation helper then you give me a prompt i can expand this a prompt like i want to act as an english pronunciation assistant for turkish speaking people so you can ask here to act like a certain person or a certain being and it would generate a prompt for you so let me give an example so for example let me take a faster llm which is grok and if i say like act like an act like an ai girlfriend so in this way you can see that this is the prompt uh, i want you to act as in my artificial intelligence girlfriend i will write sentences and you will give respond with romantic and charming phrases as if you were a loving and caring girlfriend so this is an example of a co-pilot which is a prompt generator and apart from this we can export the chat as well that we have here and uh, these are the chats that we had right now with different co-pilots or you can create a new chat here this is what i worked on the desktop app now if i head over to my mobile phone and just install this you can see that this is the same integration here as well so you can go to settings i put all the keys here for example the grok i put in the api key here uh, for the gemini as well i can put in the api key here for the cloud as well and then uh, i can use openai api and let me test it out with grok again so i click on save here i can click on new chat and uh, ask it tell me a joke so we can see on the speed of grok of course it is not dependent on my 
local system or this phone but it's actually dependent on the grok uh, servers their language processing units the speed is dependent on that so you can see that token count is 27 token use is 61 and uh, the word count is 17 so basically you are free to use any of the llms whether closed source or open weights or open source so you can use different models they are integrating more models as well now you can go to the their github and have a read of the different things different features as you can see this is a local system basically so your data remains in your device ensuring that it never gets lost then there is no deployment such as installation of different packages it supports multiple llms we can generate images as well we can change the prompt there are different keyboard shortcuts that's okay but we have different themes as well i can look at the themes as well if you go to the settings here display here and then you can have a look at the theme here so there's a dark mode here there's a light mode here as well so let me go to the dark mode here then what you have is you have team collaboration you can collaborate with ease it's available for windows mac linux users you can access it anywhere on your device you can access it as a web uh, browser on your web browser or on a desktop app or on your phone it's pretty cool to use this so having said that i hope you like this new innovation now as summary and as a way forward what i would like to mention is that going forward we should focus on getting more from the llms you know we have different providers and these are pretty stable providers now it is our job to look forward into increasing the accuracy of the models now one of the solution that people are using uh, to increase the accuracy is retrieval augmented generation i've had many videos pointing to different sources and implementing different things for a rag or retrieval augmented generation but i must admit that the accuracy of the rag implementation is about 50 to 60 percent I was working uh, at a use case where we need to convert uh, the the text to SQL and from the SQL we need uh, from the schema from the SQL code we need to extract uh, the outputs from the database and give out a reply in the user natural format so that is one example so having said that I think you should give it a try and watch out for the next video Thank you. Have a nice day. Join my Patreon to get a glimpse of the different projects and different codes that I regularly post on Patreon exclusively. I'll see you there. And by the way, subscribe, share and like this video. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice day.